Okay, in this whiteboard drawing, I'm going to illustrate and explain the process of plan schedule management. Now we start with the inputs, and in those inputs, we have a few things. Just a, um, not too many, because if we're going to have a schedule, well, one, it helps to know the charter or what's the expectation. Um, typically, that charter also has the basic timeline that we're expecting something to happen within, so we can schedule around it. And so then that timeline and that expectations in the charter will help us determine, all right, where do we need to be and how often do we need to hit certain milestones because the key milestones might be listed there or even the phase that we expect. Also then, we should have our plans. And so I'm going to draw a file drawer with our plans in it because there should be lots of them that we are going to be referencing, things like resources. If I don't know how I'm managing the resources, how do I know how to schedule? So that all comes into play. Also too, we have our enterprise environmental factors. So I'm going to draw some buildings because this is like the places we work, the culture, the style, I'm just going to abbreviate as EEF. And then also too, our binder of kind of templates and styles and rules and policies and those are what we refer to as the OPAs. All right, those are your basic inputs and then what you have is the tools and technique. Well, one being the expert judgment. So I'm going to draw my person here and he's going to be thinking and then that's our expert or experts that could be um, people who are knowledgeable in how things work around here or what we need to do in terms of schedule and who have done it before and are good at estimating those type of things. So uh, expert judgment can be far and wide. And then we have also two um, different ways to analyze the data. So we look at, you know, trends and policies and, and styles and, and all the different data and we're going to analyze it to see where things are, or how they should be, or what does it mean, and, and that's going to help us determine the best way to manage our schedules. Also, um, any planning, you should probably expect to have meetings. And likewise, that is the case here. You should have meetings to help discuss the best approaches, the best means, um, look at what is or is not working as you move forward in the project, but um, definitely having some meetings. All right, these are your tools and techniques, what you should get out of the plan schedule management. Well, one should be, actually the only, is your schedule management plan. That pretty much makes sense because if the whole idea is plan schedule management, your output should be the schedule management plan. It's how you are going to go about doing your work, the timing, the naming, the all the different pieces, but they all should be part of the schedule management plan as your output. And that's a quick look at the process of plan schedule management.